video, I will be introducing you with one new product which I received from Banggood.com and that product is this fire development kit from M5 Stack. Now you must have seen many similar kind of M5 Stack devices in many YouTube videos or maybe some articles. But this is the more advanced version of that all development kit. This is fire development kit and what M5 Stack says that out of all the M5 Stack devices they have launched fire development kit is the most advanced or we can say the most powerful development kit of this series so in this video i will let you know what are the box contents available in this particular kit what is the features and what are the specification of this particular device uh, how to interface this particular device with our arduino ide and in the end i will also let you know what kind of projects you can make using this particular fire development kit so watch this video till the end and i will let you know everything regarding this kit so let's get started okay so this is the kit which comes in this plastic packaging and uh, as we open this kit we'll get this uh, uh, what we can say user manual let's keep it aside right now then we get a usb cable which is a usb to type c cable as this device works on type c interface okay then we also get this allen key we can say a screwdriver for this particular m5 stack device let's just put it aside so under this cardboard box kind of thing we get our m5 stack device so this is the main component and the color combination is quite amazing the red and black the gray is a bit dull but the red and black are amazing color so let's just keep it aside and one more thing we get inside this kit is uh, i think it's the lego connector i haven't used lego yet so i don't know how to use it and i it is not of any use to me okay so let's just keep it aside so this is all you get inside this particular kit and uh, let's just focus on the specification of this particular device so in the user manual they must have specified the specifications let's just search for it okay so here are the specifications of this device so i will just read out thoroughly so this device is based on esp32 chip which everyone knows all the m5 stack devices are based on this esp32 so we can expect the built-in wi-fi and bluetooth inside this moving ahead we have a flash memory of 16 mb so it has 16 megabyte of flash memory inbuilt input voltage is a 5 volt and it works at 500 milliampere ratings okay interface is we have one type c usb interface which is here then we have groove connectors we have three groove connectors which uh, out of which one is of i2c one is for gpio and one is for uart so here is one and uh, two and three three these three are the groove connectors out of them uh, one is this uh, i2c one is for gpio and one is for uh, serial communication now one thing which i think is missing inside this kit is the connectors they should have provided the connectors with this kit so that it becomes very much easy to interface any sensor or any input or output devices with this connectors i just searched for this type of connectors in the market but i didn't found any of this uh, connector so i need to order it online but i think m5 stack should deliver this groove connectors along with this kit okay and second thing which i think is also missing in this kit is in earlier version of this m5 stack kit at the bottom they have provided some males and some female headers which are basically the gpio pins of this esp32 so i get so okay, we get multiple gpio pins at the border at the bottom okay but in this kit i get only two four six and uh, yeah six gpios to access and nothing else yes i do get this push buttons and this usb cable but that is of no use if you want to attach external sensor or external uh, buttons or anything like that so this is also missing i mean just six connections at all this is bad uh, they have provided one extension uh, base in which we can attach the base and we get the extension pins but that is you know a separate thing we need to purchase it, sep purchase it separately okay so with this kit you get only six connections that's all but still this particular device uh, can be considered a standalone device because it has wi-fi it has lcd it has speaker it has mic it has uh, gyroscope it has everything so we can make many projects without even attaching any wires and the cool thing is that uh, we can make this uh, what you can say we can make complete projects with this neat packaging in case if we attach sensors then that project won't look neat at all rather than if i use the internal components of this 
device and make some unique projects then that will be appreciated as it is a standalone project it will be a standalone project okay so let's see what kind of different projects we can make using this we'll see it in uh, future okay uh, other than that we have one lcd okay lcd is of 2 inch 320 by 4 uh, 320 by 240 pixels it's a tft color lcd then we have a one watt speaker on this behind this grill then we have the mems microphone okay then we have leds okay we have rgb leds both on the right and on the left side of this mpi stack device which we will see in this uh, when we start this device then we have 9 degree of freedom gyroscope built in that is also good then battery battery is amazing it has 550 mAh of inbuilt battery the other version of this m5 stack device has only 150 mAh battery built in and this has 550 that is quite amazing okay then the operating temperature then we have the size yes uh, size is also a matter to discuss it has 54 by 54 by 21 millimeter of size now it's a fun fact do you know what m5 stack how the name evolved m stands for modular phi stands for its size it's five by five centimeter and stack means it's a stackable device and this is how they named it as m5 stack device so its size is a big point of this particular product okay then in the end we have a case which is a plastic case and the weight is of 56 grams okay so this is these are all the specification of this particular device let's just put it aside and turn on this particular device and see what we can uh, what we get by default okay so here is the button which is for reset and on and off on one press it will turn on and on two press it will turn off so let's just press it once and see if it has battery it should have battery it's a 550 mh man okay okay so it started with a smiley face and the led also started blinking and it turned up oh it shows demo game oh wow they have provided one demo game built in on as soon as you start the device you will get this stone paper scissor game so let's just play it a little oh i lose it's a tie i won i won i won yeah so this is the game which you get built in so as soon as you get this kit you can just turn it on and start playing the game this is quite nice i haven't expected this because i haven't seen this kind of demo in the previous version of stack devices this m5 stack devices so this is nice okay so let's just reset this device and see what are other options available so i will just press it once to reset it okay so let's just click on this guide uh, press next for instruction let's just put it near to this camera okay it's the speaker test i will press this center button and test the speaker Oh wow, the speaker is quite loud. That's amazing. Hey, I hope I can make a MP3 player using this particular device because the speaker is quite amazing. Its sound quality is amazing. It's loud. It's not, you know, you don't underestimate the small size. It's loud. Okay, let's just press this next button. Okay, then it's a microphone test. As you can see, as I'm speaking, the microphone waves are generated. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, so the microphone is also working. Let's just press this next button. So this is the gyroscope test and yeah, the gyroscope is also working. Press next. RGB LED, yeah. So here is the red LED, here is the blue LED. So they are RGB LED, so we can, can, we can make or we can set any color on this grill on the side, okay. So right is red and left is blue. So this is also working, press next. Then this is for extension we need to connect external sensor so we don't have right now so we will click on next then extension again next then next again extension so next again extension next okay it says ready to code but before uh, uh, we need to you know we can code this device we need to provide the uh, wi-fi credentials to this so i will click on this reset button and we'll go inside the setup first okay on the setup part we can provide it uh, uh, the wi-fi credential to this device so we'll click on the setup so on pressing the setup it will create a hotspot with this particular name so what we need to do we need to first connect our mobile phone or smartphone to this particular wi-fi network and then see what happens okay so i have my smartphone so i have my smartphone with uh, me and i will go to settings and we'll go inside this wi-fi 
and we'll connect this m5 go a5 a0 it is an open connection i will connect to it okay so it shows connected and as, you, as you can see the image on the display changes to this qr code so we'll scan this qr code and let's see uh, where it takes us where is the qr code? yeah here is the qr code scanner so i will scan this qr code hey come on okay okay so the qr code okay here is the ip address we'll open this address and see what we get on this address okay so here is the wi-fi setup page so we need to provide the wi-fi credentials to this device so here is the ssid which is already selected sms geofi which is the only wi-fi network available here then on the password i will write down my wi-fi router password and we'll click on this configure button so it says connecting wi-fi and yeah wi-fi connection success reset the device so i need to reset this device by pressing this button once okay so the device is reset now we can go to guide and we can skip this all instructions and yeah it is connecting to the uh, device okay so it shows uh, it is connected now we again need to scan this particular qr code and let's test this also so this particular factory uh, what we can this particular firmware is quite in you interactive as compared to the other versions because i haven't seen this type of uh, ui in the other version of this m5 stack okay so we will scan again okay so it is the page let's open this page and let's see what we get okay so this is all we get uh, by scanning this particular app page and here it shows lessons and blocky and all other options are not available this is also a bug it shows the device is offline while the device is online so this is a bug i think and let's click on this lessons and in the lessons we are getting nothing nothing in advance projects coming soon so advanced nothing beginner nothing so i think this is kind of a new product for them they haven't updated the firmware or we can say website yet let's click on this blocky okay so in the blocky we can program this particular m5 stack by this blocks method so let's just test one of the thing let's just test lcd if you go into lcd it shows lcd fill let's just fill lcd with a uh, color where let's suppose red a maroon type of color let's just upload this code and yeah as you can see the color of the lcd changed and let's just click the other uh, select other color let's select yellow and yeah so we are able to program this particular m5 stack device using our smartphone or we can even program it using our uh, laptop by going to this particular address so this is all you get uh, uh, you can do without programming this particular m5 stack device now further what we will do we will try to program this particular device using the arduino ide from my laptop and see if we are able to do that easily or what are the steps involved in it so let's We'll go into the laptop and try to program this particular device so we'll open our arduino board and uh, for first of all the basic requirements are you must have the esp32 boards installed in this particular system so if you don't know how to install the esp32 boards i will attach one link in the description watch that video you will come to know how to install the esp32 boards okay and after installing the esp32 boards what you need to do you need to go into the sketch include library and into the manage library you need to download the m5 stack library on your arduino board so what you need to you, you need to just search here for m5 stack and you will be shown this particular kind of thing m5 stack by m5 stack okay so i've already installed this but you need to install this particular library on your system okay so these two steps you need to do first install the esp32 boards secondly the m5 stack library okay then after that if you go into the files examples and uh, here it shows incompatible but i don't know why it is showing incompatible then into m5 stack and then into this uh, uh, these are the example codes okay this fire example codes i think are particularly for this development kit only so let's just test one of the code let's just test this uh, neopixel test for example and let's see what happens okay so i'll open this example neopixel text neopixel test okay so this is the code and this requires this adafruit neopixel.h library to be installed 
let's just open another example which don't require any library at all i don't think that should there will be any example code for that let's go, let's focus on the game okay on the game we have flappy bird and let's see if we need to have any library okay so we have both the library installed in this flappy bird okay so this is a code let's just uh, select a right board so we'll go into the uh, tools into the boards and in the boards we should be able to see m5 stack uh okay let's just focus here so here is the m5 stack file which is already available inside that esp32 packages so select that first and uh, on the on the port it already shown this uh, uh, scilab to U scilab usb to uart if this port is not shown the particular port is not shown in of this m5 stack do one thing you need to install the cp2102 drivers on your system I will attach the link for the driver in the description of this video only. So if the port is not shown, go ahead and install the driver. So I'll select this port and we'll click on this upload button and let's see if uh, it gets uploaded or not. This is the first time I'm coding this M5 stack device. So I don't know if any error will occur or not right now. So it's compiling right now. Okay, so it shows connecting. Okay, it started uploading the code and let's just hope the, okay, it's done uploading. Hey, the flappy bird game appears, okay? Oh, wow. So this is the game. Oh, game over. Oh, again, game over. I think it's visible. If not, I will focus this here. So it's very, very easy to program this M5 stack using the Arduino IDE. It's very simple. There are a lot of examples already provided inside this Arduino IDE. So you can select any of the program, upload it, test it, and modify it according to your projects. So yeah, this was our target of today to get started with this M5 stack kit using the Arduino IDE. So I hope you got the idea about how powerful this device is and how to use this particular device. So if you like this uh, introduction video about M5 stack, do like this video, subscribe my channel if you want more such introduction type of videos and also some explained videos and tutorial videos regarding project. Do let me know of which product you want this kind of explained videos or we can say getting started videos in the comment section below. So yeah, wait for my next video until then explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS. M5 is the first multifunctional stackable computer that works as an independent module compatible with most electronic devices, industrial machinery, as well as simple home toys. It can be used as a walkie-talkie and voice recorder. M5 also gives you the freedom to create your own device if you like. No, not a bomb. A fruit piano, perhaps. M5 minimizes the stress of having to use multiple control devices. Simply transform it into a GPS navigation tool, or a score counter, a timer, or an alarm clock. M5 allows you to communicate with it through your phone at any moment. Smoke and movement detection features also make it a safety device. consists of multiple stackable blocks that can be used separately or combined to create new functions. You may download and install any app you wish in just a matter of seconds, or sync M5 with any other electronic tool. Fly a drone if you like, or use it as a remote control for your TV. M5 will notify you when any of your devices is switched on while you're away. Use it as a guitar tuner or a pager. One small device, multiple applications. Get your M5 today and unleash your creativity.